On the, uh, there, there has been some concern, and I confess I'm concerned too, about constructing warrant articles that re will result in withdrawing money to fund the purposes from the undesignated fund balance. So I just wanted to maybe refresh our memory. Um, in the, let's see, uh, our ordinances, section 611-3, uh, and this, I think, came in pretty near, either you helped with it or it I came wrote in it. pretty near, you wrote it. The balance of the unreserved, undesignated fund shall, once accumulated, at all times be no less than the balance of unpaid property taxes due to the town for municipal, school, and county, and precinct obligations as computed on December 31st of each year by the auditors plus 5% of the net adjusted appropriations of the taxes to be raised and recommended by the New Hampshire Department of Revenue Admin and calculated under general accounting standards. I'm just concerned lest we strip what is a valuable resource for us, and we've been talking about getting some rainy day fund or snowy day fund or whatever, but that fund, in my estimation, should be used as the backstop in case of a, a big disaster. I, when I talked to, um, uh, I think it was Steve Hamilton, the state recommends seven five percent seven percent seventeen percent there's a good size range there for communities to keep so i'm concerned about drawing against that on a consistent basis so that's something once we get the audit if we can sit down and take a look at it i'd be a little more comfortable i think if i can get a better grip on what we what we have i noticed there are three in the audit for 2013 there are three designations. There's um, decrease in non-spendable uh, fund balance, there's an increase in committed fund balance, and there's an increase in assigned fund balance, and that's on page 38 of the audit. Um, and the 2013 is the only one I have. But I would just like to make sure that we're not causing problems for the town on a long-term basis by drawing too much money from that fund. So are you, you're suggesting um, that <clears throat> it only be done for during a disaster, a, t a major disaster? Well, I think that's the, the state, and apparently uh, 611 is pretty specific, and the state uh, intent apparently is to have two months worth. For example, our tax, our overall tax bill for 2015 was in the neighborhood of 53 million with all the entities mm -hmm. in it. And two months worth of that, so 12 into 53 million, you're the financial wizard. No, 12 Christy's into 53 wizard. million is what we should have as the untouchable, I believe, um, undesignated fund balance. Well, I would I suggest that careful. this was uh, a disaster, the snow from last year. For us, it was a disaster. That's why we applied for disaster mm -hmm. uh, relief. relief and yeah. did not receive it. Isn't well, that correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the request true. was Didn't made early in the year when we, we still had money in the budget. Um, but just again, I think that this was sort of a disaster, as close I, as I've seen that we've had. I understand that, but what I'm saying is we're we're hoping to have two months worth of our total appropriation in a, a calendar year, our total tax appropriation uh, set aside. To well, not I understand touched. that, but the thing is, you mentioned about a disaster. Yeah. This was a disaster. We applied for disaster aid, and we didn't get what and we, we expected. We applied early in the year when we still had money in the budget. Okay. There was some logic behind that. Yeah, well, that's the logic that I see here. Okay. Well, and uh, I think that the fund balance isn't it much higher today than it was a number of years ago, even when, now. When I came here, it was zero. 
Yes. Right. So it has really That's appreciated a great deal. Right, but I am concerned about well, this, drawing it's an down on, on it's it. It's an ongoing thing. It's you suggested that there doing. would be a problem if we would use it for a disaster. I am suggesting that that was a, a vanilla disaster. That's fine, but what I'm saying is we're talking about 2016 drawing down against that fund, and I'm not comfortable asking the voters to do that until I understand what we are sitting on now. And I guess once you get the confirmation from the auditors and so forth, we'll have a better grip on what is available to us. The state's regulation is that we have to retain, that it's a recommendation. There's not even a regulation. Right. And some towns don't do it. Some towns don't do it and you don't have to. Right. But the, the state's recommendation is that you keep at least 5% right. of the town's appropriation not including capital outlay and not including bond issues, uh, which brings our total outlay down very substantially because we have a lot of capital outlay and we have a lot of bond issues. Mm -hmm. um, the amount of money that um, back in 2007 that we had outstanding uh, was about three and a half million dollars in unpaid taxes. Now mm -hmm. it's about 1.7 million dollars. Right. So it's substantially less. Uh, recently, and I, I, I don't remember the figure, but it was getting pretty close to 12% mm -hmm. that we had available mm -hmm. in the reserve fund versus the 5% that the state would recommend that we hold. 5 to 17%. Well, it's a recommendation. Case. Right. And uh, right. there's no statutory authority for it at right. all. But we do have the ordinance on the books. Well, no, we have a selectman's regulation. Well, Chapter 611. It's a selectman's regulation. Amount. I think he understands it where he's the one that wrote it. I just, I just want to make sure before I vote for anything that's going to be funded out of, uh, on the Warren articles, that's going to be funded out of the undesignated fund balance. I just want to understand what that undesigna undesignated fund balance amounts to and what the impact would be if we're using it to fund these various articles. Well, I guess the impact would be to give people back money they've already paid for and already held out and, and given to the town but not, but not expended for purposes for which the town appropriated funds. That's the impact. Um, the bottom line is that we're looking for something in the order of about $800,000. That's, that's what it totals up to be. Now, uh, the last, next to the last week of the month, we're probably going to have a report to the board uh, once we analyze, because right now we're doing our appropriation ledger on an almost weekly basis, yeah. uh, by the time we get two weeks from the end of the year, we're going to have a good handle on what's left in the, in the existing general fund. And should that be supportive enough to remove most of that $700,000, $800,000, we'll be coming in to make a recommendation to the board that we, we, we spend the money for those purposes which have been delayed because of lack of appropriation mm -hmm. in prior years. As you know, we shut down the expenses to just the bare minimum we need to operate. Right. So we're not spending a lot of money right now on purpose right. because of that $350,000 for snow removal. Uh, if that works out all right, then um, nothing will, or very little will come out of surplus. In fact, uh, we probably, because revenues can't be spent, uh, we'll probably be putting in something in excess of $300,000 into the surplus account at the end of the year as opposed to withdrawing funds. So we'll probably have a net input rather than a net outtake. Mm -hmm. But that we, we won't do anything until we get to the, the next to the last week of the year. Uh, and, and then we'll confirm that when we come back to the board right, uh, right after January 1. We have until the end of January mm -hmm. to in, confirm a conference and so forth. We've already started putting things together so we can get yeah. there from here. We don't want to spend money for surplus if we don't have to, right. but we also realize that the, the um, material that's requested has been deferred and deferred and deferred and deferred and deferred. And when I have a fire chief that comes to me and tells me, if somebody calls a fire station or if 911 calls a fire station with an emergency, they can't guarantee they can get the message and transmit it on. Yeah. I'm not waiting. I, I need to do something with it. And if that means we have to take money from surplus, we've got to do it. Right. I just want to be comfortable that I know, you know, I see the figures and know what we're doing. Yep. Thank you.